Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and we are going to be dining at Boma, one of Disney World's best buffets. And this is the grand reopening and it's actually the first buffet to reopen since Disney World shut down. And I'm excited to see how the buffets are going to be handled now, see if Disney has changed the menu a little bit and just enjoy some amazing food. Anywho, let's go do this. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is such a beautiful resort and I absolutely love Boma. I came here to eat with my friend Gracie I think uh, two years ago and it was my first time and I've been just craving to come back. Oh look, there goes the Disney Magical Express. Bye friends, I hope you just arrived and you're not leaving. Now that this is going to be the first buffet to actually reopen, Disney went ahead and announced that the Crystal Palace is going to bring back their buffet September 12th. And then also the Beer Garden uh, is going to bring back their buffet, I think, August 28th. Not too sure on the date on that. You'll have to look it up. But now we're looking at three buffets coming back to Walt Disney World. So progress is happening. And if you've ever eaten at Animal Kingdom Lodge before, you know I am super excited to get some zebra domes. I know they've been selling them at the Mar, but hopefully the zebra domes actually stay on the menu at the buffet because those are like some of the best desserts I've ever had. Along with the zebra domes, they are known for their African stews. I could sit here and just eat stew all night. Last time I was here, they had probably eight or nine different stews available, and I don't know if the menu is gonna change. I feel like Disney has changed every single menu whenever they reopen the restaurants at the shutdown. Now, Ohana's back in full function, but other restaurants are still missing their key items. So it's gonna be fun to see if Boma changed a lot since the last time we've eaten here. We have about an hour before our reservation, so I figured we'd walk around the Animal Kingdom Lodge, maybe look at some animals, get a drink, and just enjoy the resort. Just coming out to Boma alone, like I said, I think it's one of the best buffets on Disney property. If you guys think there's a better buffet, let me know in the comments. It's good enough reason to actually come out here to Animal Kingdom Lodge because you get to actually just walk around and enjoy this whole entire beautiful resort. You get to go out in the savannah and see the animals. They even have night vision goggles that you can use. Now, I don't know if they're doing the night vision goggles anymore, but they used to. You used to be able to just stare out at a dark savannah and look at animals with night vision. Oh wow, look at these beautiful rocking chairs. This was one of my favorite resort stays. I would have loved to come out here, drink some coffee, sit in a rocking chair, and just stare out at all the animals out here. We got an Ancoli cattle out there. I see some zebras, a giraffe in the far back there, some pelicans. Oh yeah, there's a lot of active animals. It looks like they're eating right now. I'm gonna peek around the other side a little bit and see if we can get a closer look at some of the animals. Looks like they're out there in the distance, but they are eating and they're really active whenever there's food out there. Looks like we got some wildebeest fighting over some food there. Well, I don't even know if they're fighting for food or if they're just playing around, but looks like things might get a little serious here. Oh, look at that. This other guy's coming in like, hey, break it up, break it up. Yep, yep, they separate it. How cool was it to see those wildebeest locking up horns? Really awesome just to come out and see that. But now I think the giraffes are gone. I do see a little zebra, so we may cut back over on that side a little bit. It's like I'm chasing the animals, and that's how it should be. They have the right of way. Oh yeah, there they are, there's the zebras. Don't zebras look like they have short legs? I don't know, I've always thought that before. It looks like they've got little tiny miniature legs. I think I'm going to head back into the resort. It is really hot and humid out here, and the AC is amazing there. And I'm loving the music out here, too. It's getting me super excited for Boma, and also I'm getting super hungry. I hope they have the oxtail stew and the chicken corn chowder and the gumbo. Oh, man. I'm going to eat so much stew. It's not even funny. The whole inside of Animal Kingdom Lodge is kind of really low lighting, but that's because it sets the ambience. And Victoria Falls, the line right here in the lobby actually opened today along with Boma so I think we'll stop down there check that out and then we go down another flight of steps and down there is where Boma's at because we're still indoors and we're not actively eating or drinking we still need to wear our masks and I'm sure you're probably gonna need to wear your mask when you go up to buffet but if we sit down here at Victoria Falls grab ourselves a drink we can wait without our mask on and uh, then go to our reservation whenever it's ready 
here is the lounge and like I said it's located right above Boma and it's open till 11 o'clock and then if you look down here here is Boma and you can actually see some of the buffet line I see the zebra domes I see them they're right there I'm zooming in we've got zebra domes spotted I got myself a nice little seat in the corner here and I can hear all of the people in the buffet. I'm super excited. We're gonna order ourselves a fancy drink and also watch a little bit of the Disney uh, planning uh, show that they have on the TV in the corner here. Looks like they're playing the Disney Vacation Club planning video and that's always fun to sit down and watch. And here is a look at the Victoria Falls lounge menu and they have goat cheese dip, marinated olives and almonds, then they got a Cape Town slap chips and then all their signature cocktails. I really like it. They have a Mount Kilimarita, the Moscow Mule, a Flame Lily, but I went with the signature right here, the Victoria Falls Mist, Midori Melon Liqueur, Hum Tangerine Liqueur, Banana Liqueur, Sweet and Sour Mix, and then topped with Sprite. Doesn't that sound amazing? And here it is, it's actually already here. So fancy. It's like I'm drinking a Mountain Dew with alcohol in it. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I am very excited to try this. Definitely a good mixture between the melon liqueur and then the banana and also the tangerine. Hi friends. What an amazing fruity drink right there. And it's not too sweet, it's actually a little refreshing, mainly because they use the sweet and sour mix and then the Sprite, but all of the other uh, flavors are just flavored liquors. So I really, really do like this. But it's starting to kind of fade away. You can see the Midori is separating from the Sprite there, it looks like. And it's kind of funny, it's got like a neon green tint to it. It's really, really cool looking. Now that we've had our pre-dinner drink, it's time we get to Boma, and I am so excited. I brought my appetite with me. I'm gonna focus heavily on the stews. I hope they still have all of them that they used to have. I mean, that's what really got me uh, like hook, line, and sinker to think this was the best buffet ever. And uh, yeah, it's time to go. It's time for Boma. Now we're seated away, and it's time to hit up the buffet. Doesn't that rhyme a little bit? I'm excited. So the total price of this is $49, and that's including your Coke and soft drinks and coffee beverages. Uh, they do have wines and specialty cocktails like we had at Victoria Falls. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to dive in. Uh, from what I can tell and what my uh, server told me, a lot of it is still the same. They just tweaked the recipes a little bit. And uh, we're gonna see if any of them I recognize. The dining room in here is absolutely amazing. I love actually all the decor that they got going on in here. And it's a well-themed buffet line as well. Also, I did confirm you have to wear your mask as you're going throughout the restaurant and up at the buffet getting your food. Just wanted to put that in there. I kind of already figured that, but I wanna let everyone else know just in case they had any questions. They've got sanitizer dispensers at the front of the buffet line, and then you can just pick up your plates right here, and then the adventure begins. I think I'm just gonna go through and show you guys all of the food offerings at each station, and then I'm gonna come back and make myself a plate. So first thing first, we have the sweet corn pudding with spinach and chocolate jam. Look at that, and they have little individual bowls. And then they've got the olive oil herb crusted potatoes, and then the Senegalese glazed salmon with yasa sauce. Doesn't that all just look so amazing? And then right over here, we've got the spiced pork ribs with honey and barbecue sauce. Now, I hear that these are different ribs than the last time that they had it. And then they've got the tamarind barbecue sauce, horseradish, and then the famous Boma mustard to go with the African carved strip loin right underneath there. I'm gonna be definitely getting some of that. The next bar over, they have Durban style roasted chicken, boba thai, which is South African dish with ground beef, lamb, mushroom, and egg. They actually have this on breakfast too, but I don't know if it's the same exact one. And they cook everything oak fired. Right back there, you can see it all just turning about there. Oak fired is so, so delicious. Up next, we got the kiddo section. We got chicken nuggies, macaroni and cheese, penne pasta, meatballs, corn, pea, carrots, all the works. I mean, this stuff is really good on its own. I could eat a lot of chicken nuggies. 
And then for the veggies and rice, we have peanut rice with coconut and soy sauce, spiced green beans, West African black-eyed peas with stewed tomatoes, and then some regular rice right over there. I'm really excited to try the peanut rice with coconut and soy sauce. That looks right up my alley. I'm gonna skip over the stews because that's gonna be the first thing I come up for. And we're gonna check out all of the fruits and salads. They've got a nice little bread service here. They've got a bunch of different French rolls, pita bread, hummus, all of the works actually. Ooh, and then also sweet corn muffins over here. They've got a very big selection of different like potato salads and pasta salads. And then they have a chickpea salad. That sounds really interesting. A North African cauliflower salad. And then a couscous shrimp salad. Look at the couscous shrimp salad. And then over here we got mixed greens. They got a chili cilantro vinaigrette. Chickpeas, feta, lentils, all the workings. And then some fruit selections. Strawberries, grapes watermelon all the good stuff I'm gonna start with the stews I'm gonna grab a little rice because I gotta add the rice at the bottom I'm gonna put that in there and then we're gonna grab some of the oxtail stew right here this is West African inspired tomato based stew and look at this you're gonna oh look at that oxtail right there we're gonna just take a little bit because we're gonna try it all I don't want too much perfect <laughs> We're gonna actually see the desserts a little bit later on. Right now, I got my first stew and I got my rice, and that's what we're gonna start out. Just a little bowl of rice and oxtail stew. Look at this, isn't it amazing looking though? This is what I was talking about. I can come here just for this and that's it. We're gonna get all of that meat right off there. Perfect, and we're gonna get ourselves a nice scoop of stew and rice and meat all in one bite. That's the way. This is what I've been looking forward to. This is Boma right here. This is just so, so good. Have you guys ever had like Denny Moore in the can? But can you imagine if Denny Moore was just fresh? Like that's what, well, I mean, they're two separate things. This is tomato based, but this is what it reminds me of. And I always like to add the rice to it. That does not come with the rice. You gotta add it in there. It's a little Nate special. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna like more. I know I love the chicken corn chowder, but this is good enough that I would wanna get another bowl. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna finish up what I got here, and then I'm gonna go get my chowder. Here goes the chowder. Here goes the chowder. That's really good. Yeah. I'm excited for this. No rice needed for this one, folks. I am now realizing I'm trying to eat stew with a fork, but I've already lifted it up, so we're gonna actually eat it, and then I'm gonna go get a spoon. Yep, this is it. This is it for me. I think this is my favorite. It's a little bit spicy though, so you have to be careful. I would say the oxtail is probably a runner up, but man oh man, I do love me some chowder. I think instead of getting more chowder or soup, I think I'm gonna actually make a plate. Like we'll make a full, full plate. Gotta get that beef. Absolutely. There Thank are. you. You're very welcome. Another really good thing to point out is the avocado papaya grapefruit salad. And this just looks so fancy sitting down here in the little skillets. I think it looks so pretty. The plate is looking good. I'm trying to get little portions of each thing, but I need to try a meatball. I gotta hit the kids section up, you know? I'm gonna scoop a little meatball on there. Perfect. That's a half a meatball, actually. And then a little chicken nuggies, because you can't do that without the other. I'm gonna put that right in there. Excellent. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna show you guys eating all of this because I got just a little bit of each thing, like each item kind of on the plate. So I think I'll just kind of eat it real quick and then let you know each one, unless one really, really stands out. I'm gonna just grab a little bit of these mashed potatoes here in the corner. I wanna see how these look, cause these look so, so good. And I like how they have like a little crust on them. Kinda sounds funny, you know? Crusty mashed potatoes. 
Oh, but they're so good. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Those are so, so good. Now I want to try the uh, corn pudding here with the chakalaka jam right on top. And also has spinach in there. Chakalaka jam here and corn pudding. Mmm. That's good. You notice I kind of went in there because I wasn't sure about that chocolate jam, but then it hit and I was like, okay, this is good. You can always tell by like the first bite, the hesitation where I'm like, mm, yeah, but I like that a lot. That is good. Now we're going to grab some of the strip loin here and this looks really, really good too. No sauce needed. I like to just taste the meat itself. Oak fired strip loin here. Everything they cook in that grill or in that pit is oak fired. So the strip loin was amazing and very oaky. I really loved it. And that includes these ribs. And these ribs are new. These are not the same ribs they had here last time I ate a Boma. I had to set the camera down so I can show you the meat. Look at this. So, so good. And it's definitely something you need two hands to actually eat. <laughs> okay, here it is. Honestly, what do you do when everything gets getting better and better and better? So nothing has actually disappointed yet. And these ribs are definitely no disappointment. Now it's time for the chicken. Hmm. The chicken is so, so good too. Now we're gonna grab ourselves some peanut rice and green beans. A little bit of a different combination here. I love rice, so when I seen it was peanut, coconut, soy sauce on rice, it's a good combination. I have to say though, my favorite thing on this plate was probably the ribs. They were really good. They remind me of Flame Tree Barbecue. Oh wait, but I do like the strip loin. Strip loin or ribs? Oh, that's a tough one. Strip loin. Yep. Strip loin was amazing. The ribs are so amazing too. They remind me of Flame Tree Barbecue, but with a little bit of a different taste, like a little bit of a kicked up notch. I think that's because of the oak fire, but everything was so delicious. Now I think it's time I go try the seafood gumbo. I think I'm gonna switch it back up to the soups. Before, it was kind of like just trying each thing, but it kind of started making me feel a little bit full, so I want to try the other soups before I actually call it quits. And plus, we have desserts, and those are probably the best things here. Right here it is, the seafood gumbo, and I added a little rice in there too. You gotta add the rice sometimes. Ooh, what is that? I think that might be sausage maybe in there? No, no, because it's all seafood, so I don't know if it's sausage or, oh, maybe that's just okra. It's the seafood gumbo. Do 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 do. Very very good, but not as good as the oxtail and the corn chowder. Good. Those still are the top, the top of the soups, the top of the supas. <laughs> now I think I'm gonna head back up to the buffet and see if there's anything that just catches my eye. Cause you never know. You know, I'm just gonna browse around a little bit. Look at them cut those ribs right there. That is amazing, isn't it? I might just wait out and make sure I get a couple of those. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to get some of the tamarind barbecue sauce. Usually I don't eat any sauce on the ribs, but I'm going to give it a go. Also, maybe I'll try a little bit of the Boma mustard. Take a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Try not to dribble. That's the way. <laughs> I got back to my table. I just got two ribs and then the sauces. But does anybody think the sauce looks like Cookie Monster? Doesn't that look like Cookie Monster? Cookie, cookie. When I saw them with the new ribs and she was cutting them up and putting them in the dish, I had to get a look at these. Honestly, I think I'm going to revert back and say that I like the ribs better than I like the strip loin because these are just too good. These are literally amazing. Sorry to say it, but I had to destroy Cookie Monster here. The barbecue sauce is so good. The ribs are amazing. I'm not too much of a fan of the mustard. This is Boma mustard sauce, but I don't like mustard sauce in general, so I don't think I was going to like it. But if you like mustard sauce, I'm sure Boma's mustard sauce is pretty good. 
And now I believe I need to go to the dessert section. I'm all done with the ribs and I'm done with the stews. It's time for some zebra domes. I guess we'll start right here with the banana bread pudding and vanilla sauce. And then we've got chocolate chip cookies, mini cupcakes, pineapple, Kenyan coffee tarts, hazelnut brownie, passion fruit mousse, and of course, the zebra domes. Look at these bad boys. These are the best things ever. I really, really am going to eat like two of them. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself some of the banana bread pudding here. Just a corner spot to add to my collection of snacks. There we go. Perfecto. I'm hyping up the zebra domes because I know they are that good. But new, they got a Nutella brownie. That's something new that they actually are offering. And the banana bread pudding is not too bad on its own either. But I got all three of those plus the coffee tart. So I'm interested to see what that's going to be like as well. First things first though, we got to get that nice banana bread right there. Nice and warm. I should have got some vanilla sauce. I, I don't know what I wasn't. I, I didn't think. I definitely should have got the vanilla sauce. Mm. So I actually said that backwards. This one right here is the hazelnut brownie. This is the new guy in town. So we're going to give the new guy in town a shot right now. I'm going to set it on its side. And then when it cuts through right like this. Oh, yeah. This is actually looking really good. I don't know how I can grab it, maybe like that. But I want to get one of the chocolate straws in there. Oh yeah, that's the way, that's the way. To the new guy in town, before it falls off my fork. <laughs> I feel like restaurants, especially at Disney, always have that signature dessert. You know what I mean? Like uh, the bread pudding at Ohana, the zebra domes here at Beaumont. But could it possibly be Boma now has two because that is a delicious brownie. Holy moly. I'm not even a big fan of brownies, but I love that. And I don't know if it can rival my zebra cakes. You gotta get that banana bread pudding out of there. And uh, I'm gonna try the zebra cake now. I mean, I gotta make sure. I don't know how to describe a zebra dome. It is like a moussey, cakey tart. Not even a tart, I don't even know. But they are so delicious. I think I'm going to try to cut it in half for you so you guys can get a look on the inside. But I love these and everyone I know who like comes to Boma, they always say like, hey, did you get the zebra domes? They also sell the zebra domes out at the Mar. So even if you're not eating here, you can get them at the quick service in like little four packs. But when you come here, all you care to enjoy. All right, we're going to try to dissect a zebra dome to give you a look on the inside here. Zoop. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, it fell. Oh no. All right, there we go. Look at that. So you got like a little cake at the bottom, a nice chocolate mousse, and then white chocolate on top. So, so good. Excellent. So cheers to the zebra domes. Right there, the best thing here. So good. <laughs> I love it. Also, it's got little chocolate sprinkles on the outside. Well, I hate to do it, guys. I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> I have had so much food and honestly it wasn't all heavy heavy food so I went back for seconds on the ribs but the main thing I was really really loving was the stew now I don't think I filmed it but I did get another bowl of the corn chowder I think that like I said was so good and my favorite but oh wow I mean this is great 
And with that, I think we are done here. I love Boma. I really think most of it is just like it was before. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference with some of the spices. And uh, like I said, the oak fire is a little bit different. And uh, we're missing a couple of the soups too, or the stews. I think there was a coconut curry that used to be there that was really good, but they didn't have it available this time. Overall, absolutely amazing. Right now, I can honestly say this is the best buffet in Disney World at the moment. <laughs> I can 100% guarantee that because that's it. That's the only one. Until next week and then Beer Garden will open up but I don't think Beer Garden will beat that. And uh, Crystal Palace is rumored to be getting a new menu. Uh, I think it's actually going to be different from when it actually opened. So that would be interesting to check out. I'm hoping to check that out when it does open. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and we'll see you next time. Bye!